-hmm. You know, the African Bar of the Labour Party is still extremely popular. <laughs> we would have this pulled um, a number of constituencies and recognised that um, we still have the government. So we feel very buoyed by the uh, results of um, the recent polls. Yes. And uh, yes, what we intend to do now is to widen the margin between ourselves and our political opponents mm -hmm. and to make sure that we retain the governance of this country in the public interest. Yes. In fact, people of Antigua and Barbuda ought to know that now is not a time yes, to go and um, tamper with governance, hmm. to go get a bunch of neophytes and incompetence to run this country. Yeah. When you look at the global instability, when you look at um, the um, type of skills that are required to navigate the challenges that we're faced with globally. Mm -hmm. You need capable, or the country needs capable hands. You need experienced hands. Indeed. And I don't see how individuals like Harold Lovell, who couldn't um, handle a little global crisis, ended up collapsing the country's economy. The country's economy um, contracted um, uh, four of the five years that he governed the country. And the one year that it grew, it grew by about half a 1%. Hmm. So this is a man who has a dismal track record. And how can he now come and present himself as a savior when um, he could not even function during a period of uh, relative stability? Quite right. Uh, compared to the COVID challenges that we've had and now the issue of inflation and so on globally that has been literally wreaking havoc on countries globally. So I say to the people of Antigua and Barbuda, now is not the time to change the government. This is a time in which you need stability, mm. in which you need competent leadership, audacious leadership, and leadership that is not daunted by challenges, leadership that will continue to recover the economy. Uh, you would have seen already in 2021 that we have clawed back 5.3% of the lost growth. Mm -hmm. And this year, despite the increase in inflation, the increase in pricing, um, uh, petroleum pricing, food pricing, and so on, which we know represents some challenge for people, we continue to grow the country's economy. And I still maintain that we'll have strong, positive growth this year, notwithstanding the increase in inflation. In fact, we're now trying to see how we can um, uh, reduce the rate of um, in inflation by making certain strategic interventions uh, so that um, it doesn't impact on growth and obviously to protect the poor and the vulnerable.